I became a active transportation user after many years of being a non-choice transit rider. So I used public transit to get around everywhere and didn't own a vehicle. Um, and one summer, a friend lent me her bicycle and I found out that traveling by bike was more time efficient, reliable, cost effective and fun way to engage with the built environment. Um, I was recently out of college and, and through kind of my experience in college became more knowledgeable of my climate impacts and so choosing active transportation became one of my most impactful ways to reduce my carbon footprint. Circulate encourages um, the use of active transportation um, and safe active transportation in two ways. The first is that we advocate for safer streets and influence policy change. And the second is that we provide planning services and grant funded programs that are focused on creative initiatives and efforts to increase active transportation use and access. And sometimes those two methods work together in tandem. So for example, we lead the Vision Zero advocacy in City of San Diego, and the City of San Diego was one of the early adopters of Vision Zero nationwide. And since then, we've helped three other cities in the region adopt Vision Zero policy. And I think another project that highlights the nature of our work is our Crash Not Accident campaign. And the goal of this ongoing campaign is to raise awareness that crashes are not accident, but a result of human error and behavior. And the word accident, you know, it exonerates a person from responsibility and, and leads people to believe that crashes are inevitable, whereas they are actually preventable with careful driving and safe street design and other Vision Zero principles. We don't call a plane an, a plane crash an accident. We don't call drunk driving an accident. And um, you know, while human error is inevitable, transportation systems can and should be designed to be forgiving for safety. So last year was our inaugural year. And the campaign we launched with four crash site memorials, specifically focusing on vulnerable road users and disadvantaged communities and hit and run victims. Um, because there's often limited media attention on our immigrant and kind of houseless community members who lose their lives on our roadways every year. And this strategy is kind of a practice of raising awareness to force change. And through these like print and online mediums, we are calling attention to crashes to create a sense of ownership and traffic safety, but also raising awareness for the need for permanent infrastructure improvements on our roadway. Education and communication are the foundation of everything. So with Crash Not Accident and Vision Zero, we know that safe street design is one of the foundations, but we also know that people's buy-in and knowledge about their role in that process is just as important. So last year, I partnered with the City of San Diego's Sustainability Department on a woman's walk audit series. And the goal was to really understand the vulnerabilities that women experience accessing public and active transportation in the evening time. And really what they wanted to know is what sort of interventions might increase the likelihood for women to take public transportation um, to help support the city's climate action plan goals. I think the biggest lesson for me was that planning is so much of storytelling and getting the voices of communities out there and the lived experiences of these community members to decision makers. So the future of active transportation safety would look like there are space for people other than cars. Um, so there's space for all users to move freely and safely. Our roadways are safe and reliable and vibrant, you know, connected networks that promote livability and vitality of our communities and our local businesses. Our environmental justice communities are no longer plagued by systemic racism and injustices that are so obvious on our current roadways and that people of all ages, races and abilities have a place on the street.